That's right. Are we have we forgotten all this over the first derivative is the rate of change of the original function? The second derivative is the rate of change of the first derivative. The rate of change of the rate of change. Again, position, velocity, acceleration is the best way to keep that straight in your mind if you understand what acceleration is. Okay, velocity is the rate of change of that. This is the rate of change of that. And of course, yeah, we were all excited when we learned that this was the rate of change of this. <laughs> we're inventing a new one. The fourth derivative is called ultra jerk. We coined that term. Okay, <laughs> we'll have to come back to that at some point. You're patenting it. Yeah, but it's on it's on the internet now. Everybody, it's it's out there. You can't. It's all it's all over now. That you can't. <laughs> okay. Do we? Re I'm hoping we remember too what critical points are and how they relate to extreme values. What is a critical point? Do we remember after a long break? Let's have one person say it or explain. Well, here, let's talk about this first, and then we'll deal with the maximums and minimums. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're F, F prime is zero or undefined. And it's in the interior of the domain. Like if there's endpoints, you don't have critical points at the endpoints. But this this thing presumably keeps going either way. So critical points then are where the derivative is zero or undefined. It is zero here, and it is zero here, and it is zero here. There's critical points at x equals negative one, one, and three. You could give the coordinates. You could say at negative one, five. You know, if you want, it doesn't matter. Negative one, five, and whatever the next one is. One, negative two, and three, negative nine, I guess. You could do that, or you could just say they occur at these x values. All of those things are not extreme values. The extreme values occur at critical points, but not every critical point is an extreme value. It's kind of a one-way relationship. This is an extreme value. This is an extreme value. It's a local extreme. It's not an absolute extreme value because the function goes higher than that eventually. Okay, local max of negative 1 at x equals, no, wrong, sorry. Local maximum of how high does it go? 5 at x equals negative 1. And local minimum of negative 9 at x equals 3. Notice the one in the middle is not an extreme value because it doesn't, you know, go down on either side or up on either side. It happens to be where the derivative is zero, but that doesn't make it a, just because it's a critical point doesn't mean it's an extreme value. Now this might be new, but it's hopefully intuitive even if it is. Talking about where the function values are increasing or decreasing. If you imagine the coordinates of a point here, if I'm moving this point along here, What's happening to the values of the function as I go into this, through this section here? They're increasing, right? The, the y values are increasing as I do that up to this point. And then after that point, they're decreasing, right? So if we think about a number line here, maybe we'll even do this. Let me try that. Since when? Since when? <laughs> He just drew that. <laughs> You're excited about that? <laughs> I did this. See down here what? The blue lines I drew myself. <laughs> did you do that arrow thing again? Oh, 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 oh. 
Whatever it happens to be. Oh, <laughs> later one. Now we want to get rid of this guy. <laughs> Very, very exciting. I don't know about that. You're, you're clapping for... You're, you're clapping for Bill Gates. I don't know. <laughs> and it's still recording. That's okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> you are recording this now. I, I was going to just leave all these on YouTube for next year and say, hey, I've got all the things in there from last year. <laughs> it is, yes. This is a good one, eh? Yeah. They're going to say... <laughs> Oh, they're gonna, they're, yeah, they're gonna think you're very prehistoric clapping for an arrow that we drew. <laughs> what, you can't just think it and it appears there? And that's what they'll be saying five years. That being said, when I was in high school, we thought in the year 2000, whoa, that's so far off. We're gonna be like in flying cars all over the place and stuff, and really, we have cell phones and all that, but which is pretty exciting. But we don't have flying cars or any of those other things. We, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I got hovering cars. It's possible, but I have a flying car. Anyways, um, I probably it's best to think about this uh, kind of in regions here for this section right here for those x values. The function is increasing. Okay, for this one, for this region here, it's increasing. Okay, function is increasing. Let's uh, let's make yellow increasing, and what's happening past there for this for this point right here? As you, st we when we got up to here, it's increasing, and then after that point, it's decreasing until we get to right there. For that instant, is it increasing or decreasing? Neither, Neither one. For that instant, nothing's happening. But in between here, okay. So for in between there, it's decreasing, which we're doing, which we are doing in pink. After that, it continues to decrease, right? So after zero, it continues to decrease to there. So this is pink as well. And then what happens what happens past that point? Increasing, right? The function is increasing. So we've got to go back to this. So we have these four regions on there. The critical points divided up into different intervals, and you can talk about whether the intervals are whether the function is increasing or decreasing in each of those intervals. It is increasing in that one, it's decreasing. It's decreasing, and then it's increasing. How is that related to the derivative of the function in those intervals? Yeah, slope here is positive. Slope here is negative. Slope here is negative. Slope here is positive. I'm sure this is still not going to work, but we can look at it anyways. Um, so for this point here, which again, it's not allowing. We'll have to shut the whole thing down here. This we could have.